Hello, today is the 21st day of December 2012. It is a Friday. It is also the first day of winter north of the equator, first day of summer south of the equator. It is also the end of the world. And we're moving into the fourth week of December, so four days after the end of the world, which is today, we will have an unnamed holiday, which I'm not a big fan of. And there's five reasons right here why I'm not a big fan of it. Number one being that of Santa Claus lies. I think it is extremely counterproductive to lie to your children about a figure that does not exist. That's quite disturbing, actually. Number two, force demand to be a consumer. You could be out on the streets, running to a stranger, you're talking, talking it up a bit, and then you'll hear, have you done your shopping yet? Like, we're forced into it to become that consumer. And then you get a whole bunch of, well, buying what's not needed, nor what is not wanted. You get a bunch of people. People itself will not buy what they need. You hear the complaint, oh, these people buy what they don't need, buy some stuff that's just going to be a waste of uh, currency. Well, it's even worse when you don't even give them what they want, let alone need. Number four, killing of innocent baby trees. I find this, again, very disturbing as well. I realize that you can have a fake artificial trees, which would be a breaking this one. You could also, which would be actually cool, maybe have a real baby tree that you don't cut up. You have in a major pot and roots and you water it, all that type of stuff. And maybe later in the spring or summer or if you're down where it's warm in the south, maybe you just plant it weeks afterwards. And, well, that would be pretty cool, but that's also uncommon. And number five, religion, faith, and logic. I have a hard time with this word faith, especially after reading its definition, which is really what it's all about, to be that of a consumer. You need faith to believe in Santa Claus, all that kind of stuff. And, of course, religion is based on faith, which is, again, very dangerous. How dangerous this is, you can say the same thing again here. So that's why I am not a fan of it, and I will not wish a single person within this uh, channel a merry you-know-what. And I expect the same thing back. Okay, so on the daily chart for silver, we uh, see yesterday that we came right back down or right down to this lower band area. Yesterday it was 29.64, which was the uh, bottom for the day. Today the lower band is uh, currently set at 29.36. That number lowers every time a new high or a new low, of course, is in place for the day. And normally when you come down this level, you can say, okay, that's an area a lot of times where you're uh, either going to stop the movement either by having some sort of bull market, maybe even something like this, or at least go sideways. Because if you continue downward movements, what is an extremely common symptom is the size of the red candles to increase even larger. Now, the same is true with an upper band, that if you break above it, the size of the green candles would escalate a lot higher as well. So it's very unclear still yet how this is going to play off. It's total major manipulation when you consider that the dollar index was doing nothing. The volume overall was quite light. But we knew that going into the market, and quite frankly, until there's enough uh, tangible, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for, uh, actions being done, then these types of stuff could very much easily come into play, which is why that 20 level, very much a possibility. Now, a few months ago, I did a video stating a possible outcomes for silver, and what I did not want to do was show any outcomes in a range that stays between 26, even 25, and the 50 mark, which is exactly what's taking place, so none of those outcomes even came close. What I will do tonight is take a look at the daily, the weekly, the monthly, and the quarterly, and show three different directions for each one. One, if the next 20 periods is a uptrend, a downtrend, or a sideways consolidation, how it may look and what might be said. And uh, that will be, of course, done Friday night, most likely, of course, unless something else comes up. And finally, a uh, final 2013 prediction for to, uh, today, another safe one, and that is on the fourth week of December next year. The unnamed holiday will still exist fairly much exactly how it did last year, which is this year, and all the many years before. And basically what I'm trying to get at within these predictions is people will not be waking up in masses. Thank you for tuning in, and have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.